This is Multiplane, episode 35, recorded on Friday, June 4th, 2010. Everybody online, looking good. A companion podcast to the collaborative blog and gaming community that's playing as life allows, this is Multiplane. Well, let's start the insanity. We have clearance, Clarence. Roger, Roger. What's our vector, Victor? Hello? Uh... Great heavens! What kind of radio show is this? What's up, guys? Yo! Hi, Paz. Where'd you quit work? Yeah, I was just like, you know what? Fuck this, guys. I'm gonna go to the show, podcast. Bitch. You yeah. know, I, I, I we had a guy do that before in the guild, where he was going oh, to work. Oh yeah, Horu oh, quit his job. We had an event in DAOC. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Tell him, Jay. It was um. I don't know if you guys know Molly Yuvith. Yeah. Um. Yeah. The, her her boyfriend at the time. He was he was one of the founding members of the guild. He was he was playing, and I was home. Uh, and we were gonna do an event, and he's like, "I gotta go to work," and we're all like, "Oh, don't go." So nope. he just you like, asked him what he did. Yeah, he was a telemarketer. And so what did you tell him? I said you should just quit that shit. So he he's like, oh, I'll be right back." And then I'm like, "Okay," <laughs> and he came back. He's like, "All right, I called in. I quit. Let's do this." And I'm like, Dude. <laughs> oh, that's awesome! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, he was a well. He was a leader. I mean, yeah. Oh, he had responsibility. <laughs> I, I mean, guess he is, should have been, is, huh? Yeah, the he's skilled, a co-leader. The skilled is the real life. I mean, you got to you got to get priorities. Last we heard, he was on the street, mm. oh. <laughs> yeah. trying to form guilds of street people. <laughs> yeah, he's oh my God. basically gang bum, uh, bum, bum gangs. He's, he's they're all yeah, <laughs> they're raiding the city in Canada. <laughs> they're, they're mounting raids. Ooh, are they wearing the Canadian flag banana hammock? So. <laughs> I've heard that you're very into those. You've got to see the picture. I'm telling you. There's a picture of a Canadian flag banana hammock on our forum. Yeah, on our yeah. forum. Yeah. Multiplaying has hammock. forums, people. You'll want to check this out if you're into looking at banana hammocks. And overload. Wait, wait, wait. Point. Wait, yeah. we have a forums? <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> what have I been missing all this time? Uh, apparently, banana hammocks. Oh, but right now, there's a lot of ads on it. Mayor Goldie Wilson will probably want you to help clean those up. Oh, I gotta <laughs> clean that up. I, it's the first. Yeah, I haven't been on it in a while. I gotta oh, clean it. I just up. googled banana hammock. I regret that. Yeah, you oh. know. <laughs> <laughs> you want to select safe Google search? Oh you yeah. Uh, Let me make sure you like get a little warning from the group before you go. Oh, think I we think do. I know which picture you found. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those are bad. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> are you sweating? Uh, I'm close my tab. <laughs> All right, let's let's get this. For one reason or another, you're listening to multiplaying, and uh, <laughs> tonight we have Jason. Hi. And John. Hey. And Heather. Hello. And Steve. Hello. I'm Shannon, and for the first time ever, we have Dean. Yay. Hey. Yay. Hi, Dean. And first right. off, what's your beverage, Jay? I'm drinking a Beck's Dark. That is a lovely beverage. And um, John, what are you drinking? I just have a glass of wine. I literally just walked in the door from the work. So. <laughs> Organic wine? Wait, you, you, you literally walk in the door and wine is placed in your hands? Yep, by Maria. <laughs> <In the solarium. laughs> I hate your life. <laughs> Heather, what's your beverage? I'm drinking a mango margarita. That sounds nice. It is pretty good. Um, Steve? Mountain Dew. That's good. That'll be relaxing for you. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Dean, what's your beverage? Uh, I'm drinking water, but the liquor store is on the way, fortunately. So. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I've got um, Newcastle brown ale. So Wait, that is- you, have a, you have a liquor store that delivers? No, <laughs> no, I have vodka delivery service on the <laughs> What? Yeah. Wait, wait. The, the, the way he get, said it. I want to go to there. The, 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 way, he you it, the way he said it, it sounded like the whole liquor store is on wheels. <laughs> <laughs> it might be. No, the liquor wait. store is on the way, guys. Don't that worry. It's way more impressive than Maria. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. I'm going to I'm Dean's. Where do you live? Yeah, Dean, where do you live? <laughs> uh, no, I'm just waiting for my significant other to arrive with the vodka. So. Oh, oh. Yeah. Man, I was about to send Maria to hijack that rolling liquor store. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look for that drunken van. You didn't <laughs> think about this, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
And uh, let's see. What are you currently playing, Jay? I always got to go first. I know. Well, I do the agenda and I just just do it. Right. <laughs> just oh, do hang it. I've, uh, do you, did you guys have any problems getting on a live video? Because it's not letting me on. To the yeah, we're not doing that tonight. Yeah, way oh, to okay. join. Yeah, way to, way to follow your fucking Twitter once in a while, by yeah. the way. <laughs> oh, yeah, I have a Twitter. Yeah, I should probably update <laughs> And you don't update it and people complain. <laughs> yeah, I should probably go onto that website from time to time. Yeah. Um, What's my username on that thing? Oh. Has a loop of oh, two God, tags. You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> nope. That was that wasn't it. All right, hang on. Has a loop, oh, you douchebag. No, I mean the password. I can't figure out which password oh. I use. <laughs> Has <laughs> <laughs> <Tazalupo>, dumbass. <laughs> oh yeah. Password's probably dumbass. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Is that one of the passwords I know to some of your accounts? Uh, I don't know. Which one? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Jay, Jay, yes. let's get on with this. What are you playing? I've been playing. I finished off Splinter Cell Conviction, which was uh, I really like that coming up to the end there. Play that on. Uh, 360. Okay. Um, I've talked about it before in the podcast. I yeah, I don't listen up. to you, though. Remember, you always no, get up and No, you day. wouldn't. Go ahead. But I really enjoyed it. The ending was good? Yeah, it was really cool. I don't want to give any spoilers, but the, the whole last venue was pretty climactic. It was a lot of fun. The best thing that I enjoyed about that game was you get a lot of abilities and it built them up. Oh. And towards the end, you had enemies who had the same abilities as you. So you had to kind of counter them. So I like that. And I've also been playing some Blur still, which I know mm-hmm. Shannon's been playing some of. Yeah. I like Blur. Yeah. Do you? Cool. Yeah. She's actually I'm been actually, it. actually, Jason bought it on the PS3 and I'm thinking of buying it on the 360 because there's a lot of people playing it on the 360 and not a lot of people playing it on the PS3. Like the other mm. night. When we were looking at it, like 400 total people, 400 were playing on the PS3, and like 4,000 were playing on 360. No shit. That's what I've been hearing on the message board. No, yeah. but we saw oh, the numbers okay. on PS3. It was only like 423 people. Right. But I, I, I've been curious as to what the numbers are on the Xbox. Yeah, that, um, that's, hey, me, Steve, that's me going off message boards. I have but. a question. When do you fully wake up from hibernation? <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear a uh, meow, see? Meow, see? Oh, yeah. wow. that is right. Yes, that's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> do that all the time. <laughs> Scruffy's gonna die the way he lived. <laughs> oh, we didn't really have to uh, change that so much. No, I know. Um, but yeah, I like Blur a lot. I just really suck at it. Like, I finally was getting to the point where I could see other people in front of yes. me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that's the multiplaying. And then I had my first race. I think it was like my fourth race or fifth race that I did with multiplayer. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I finally got, I came in second. It was close, too, at the awesome. end. I got second. And the mother disconnected the Yeah, thing. disconnected like oh. right before she got <sighs> Across the, so and, and it I, booted her completely. Booted me out. The guy hosting the race disconnected. I was so mad. That's a that is that is BS, people. That's yeah. <laughs> bad way right there. Yeah. Well, I gotta say, the first time I came in first in a match, I was like, yes, yes, and it was totally kinetic. It was very exciting towards the end, which that game is great at. Where yeah, it really. Is. You're in first, and you have to pay attention to the rearview mirror. You gotta, you, you know, you. You, you got to keep, keep an ability as backup to defend. Exactly. You, yeah. you are very cognizant of what you have, and you burn off stuff if you don't need it. And, and that's, what's, that's really, what is really good about that game. Firing Mario the blocks awesome. backwards. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I love the whole defensive measure of the game and how you can do things. So. No, I actually, I actually bought Blur uh, last night on the PC, and you guys were talking about player numbers. Well... Um, the PC was actually at, I think, uh, the highest I saw was 92. Oh, my yeah. God. Uh, I, I would have bought it on the PC, and I think we talked about it a little bit on the live stream last week. But that's what I worry about. Is I would love to play on the PC, but the player count really worries me there. Yeah. It was it was pretty hard to actually getting into a game. They weren't even full. It was usually about five or six people per per game. So they were really empty, and I was coming in last, so it kind of sucked. But... Yeah, it was fun, but the player count's just really low. That's yeah, it's like yeah, nobody gets racing games as much really for the computers anymore. Yeah. Mm. 
Well, it's not out. It's not out on Steam in uh, Australia or the UK, and I know, like Europe, actually has a has a a big racing game fan base. So hopefully, once they open the doors there, that Ooh, that's true. You know, yeah, we'll yeah. see some more people. Kind of like with. Sorry, go ahead. I, I'm just saying, um, Blur came out in the UK about a week ago, and I did see a pretty. It was like a couple hundred player count jump for when it came out there. So yeah, you're right. They, this type of game. We'll probably be pretty big there. Yeah, I really hope so, because I want to get into a uh, 20 player match. That'd be awesome. Actually, you know what? The sound on this, does anyone else? I was about to say, he sounds like shit. Sounds like yeah, ass. You got too many people on. So. Do you want me to uh, jump? If you don't mind, since your voice is rough. I and you can't like talk very well, anyways. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just jump off this one. It'll help the quality. Sorry. Bye, guys. Bye, Bye. Steve. So glad he's gone. You're <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I'm here. Yes, and my, okay. my vodka is here. Woo! Yay! Oh. <laughs> the rolling liquor van. Mm. <laughs> it's a lemon drop, and it's delicious. Mm. So, Heather, what you been playing? Um, the only thing I've been playing has been Warhammer. How is that after the new 1.35 point? What is it? <laughs> well, I think it's 1.3.5. Okay. Um, I've only done one city siege. Um, because I've, I've got the Archmage that I hadn't really been playing a whole lot. And so I finally decided to be brave. And it's actually a lot of fun. Um, it's um, it's definitely more directed than it was before. You know, before you just kind of went in there and camped around different places for the most part. Um, the PvE aspect of City Sieges, which everybody pretty much hated, is essentially gone now. And it's almost essentially all RVR. Um and it goes from, uh, it's got, I think, three different stages in all. And uh, the champion part's really pretty cool. Um, it selects four of each archetype. I think you've got a, um, a tank, uh, you know, tank healer, um, melee DPS, and uh, ranged DPS, I think, is how it works. And so it just it picks four of your actual players to be the champions. And, uh, and then you, you duke it out at the end. And it's, it's really a lot of fun. Nice. It sounds fun. Sounds much it better. It is. It's a lot better than it was. Um, you can definitely tell, and, and of course, it's like all MMOs. If you if you come late, or if you did like I did, and you, you leave for a while and you come back, you you definitely feel like a disadvantage. Because um, I died a lot. Because I'm I'm only uh, I forget what my renown rank is. It's thirty something or other, um, mid to upper thirties. I can't remember what it is, but I died a whole lot um, in it. So you can definitely tell. You're at a disadvantage because you're going up against, you know, renowned rank 80, 80 people. Yeah, but it's people still... that never stopped playing and they have all the sovereign <laughs> gear and stuff. Right, right. But it's still a lot of fun. I mean, it, it was definitely a lot more fun than the old City Sieges was. Now if they could just do something to kind of fix the rest of the game. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, It's a start. <laughs> it is a start. And, and what I've heard, um, right now I'm not, I don't have anybody in T3, but... What everybody's complaining about now is that T3 is just completely dead, um, that you can't find scenarios and you can't find open RVR because of the land of the dead. Um, people are going to land of the dead, and it's much easier for them to just grind it out and get to T4. Well, of course, then once they get there, their renown rank's still really low. So, yeah, so there's still some problems, obviously. I think, so the, now big thing, I think the big thing that they missed the mark with the whole land of the dead was it was supposed to build as the um, Darkness Falls, and it's people just go there to grind. Right. There, there isn't a ton of the funneling of PvP there. You're right. That people go there and they grind their gear and they grind their levels, and I think that's all they're doing there. Yeah, I remember seeing that uh, in a ton of global chat. People, how do I get fastest to 40? And people just say, go there, which totally, right. keeps, that totally bypasses the fun parts of that game. Exactly, because I've so far done almost no PVE, um, and, and you know, open RVR is good in T2. Um, scenarios pop pretty routinely. Um, I don't want to PVE, <laughs> so it'll be exactly. disappointing. You know, disappointing to get to T3 if that's what's going on. So I've been stalling and re-rolling just like I used to in T4. <laughs> but you're playing it the fun way, which when I came back yeah. for a couple months and I'm going to come back probably pretty soon here i didn't do any pv and i had a lot of fun just it is it's, PvP. Yeah. it is the pvp is still a lot of fun and for me it's the most fun you know compared to any other mmos out there right now so i'm having fun but i'm kind of leery about t3 right now 
<laughs> so, John, John, what have you been playing? I have been playing a lot of uh, Blur, Split Second, is Split Second, a bit more Split Second. And uh, actually, I picked up um, Mod Nation Racers. I don't know awesome. if you guys oh, heard yeah. about that one. Yeah. Um, that one is freaking sweet. <laughs> like, you know how you would compare Blur like the adult version of Mario Kart, but kind of more evolved? Well, yes. Mod Nation Racers stays more in the Mario Kart like range, but it has um, like the little big it feels planet. Exa- yeah, it's like little big planet customization with Mario Kart combined. So it's like the variety of maps and the variety of cars. Like, for example, right now, my driver is the Fallout Boy mascot <laughs> and my car is the Monop- that's that uh, silver Monopoly Rolls Royce. Oh, nice. So- so I have the Fallout Boy driving this Rolls Royce silver thing, and uh, and you get all that on purpose, him. right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and just because it's I don't know, just because it's silly. But uh, right. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff on the download shop. I mean, you can create your own stuff. It's insane. Um, the uh, the weapon system is the same as like Mario Kart or Blur, except if you uh, let's say you pick up like um, like a speed boost, right? If you don't use it and you pick up, you keep picking up items, instead of giving you more items, it upgrades the one that you have. So, And there's three levels of the abilities. So the first time you get a speed boost, it'll shoot you a little faster. The second time, it'll shoot you farther. And the third time, it literally teleports you uh, a certain length up on the track. So it's it's pretty insane, like the combination of abilities and stuff they have and... It really does feel like Mario Kart, but with the insane customization. And I mean, uh, I started creating a track and stuff. It's it's crazy. How many weapons can you hold at once? Um, I've only ever had one at a time, personally. Uh, I don't know if you can hold more than one. I, I honestly, I haven't played it that much, but uh, it's it's I don't know. It's, so far, initial impressions are pretty sweet. It's, hey, cause hey, it's like have you, have you made any uh, levels yet? I don't think so. I'm just I've unlocked some items and stuff to customize with, but uh really you can just download stuff other people make anyway. Um but it's really cool cuz it's like it really feels exactly like Mario Kart. Like the whole drifting and everything about it. It's it's like if you really wanted to play Mario Kart but not Mario World. I don't know. It's, it's pretty sweet. And yeah, it's, uh, the, the whole thing is persistent online too. When I played the beta, the drifting was very much like Mario Kart. And you could just kind of, you know, as you're going around a corner, you could actually just continue to drift around that corner and get the speed boost. It was actually, <laughs> yeah, it was, it's sweet. Do you it's snake? Wild, yeah. Do you snake like in Mario Kart? Snake I don't how? recall snaking in that in that game. I don't think so. <laughs> okay, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Snaking is in Mario Kart was where you would kind of uh, drift, turn, drift, turn, drift, turn, and you would get a boost out of it, where you could drift oh. multiple times. You could, and people exploited it a lot. Which I made, don't made the online not a lot of fun <laughs> for regular players like me. Yeah, no, I don't. I haven't seen that, but like I said, only first impressions so far. I was thinking about getting that, and the one major knock I heard about it is uh, load times. If you notice load times being pretty bad, or they seem okay. The, the I mean, it's a long load time. The whole world, the whole racing gig is all persistent online. It's if I were to say, mm, just guessing, it's probably about like forty-five seconds to a minute between maps. Which is pretty long when you're sitting there looking at it. Yeah. So it's kind of discouraging in that sense, but it's it's so much fun that it's kind of like you know, it's like when you come to a loading screen, you're just like, ah, I'm gonna go grab a drink. We'll just make a back. sandwich. I'm gonna go make a sandwich. <laughs> so yeah, load times are long. Um, I, I have go to jerk say that, off. I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. So anyway, just those three. Split so that's the game actually, that you uh, can get and jerk off and play at the same time. <laughs> yeah. So I. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go get it right now. See ya. All right. So uh, the other thing I've been playing is Split Second more, more uh, comparing more between Blur and Split Second. Same stuff. But I figured out what people were talking about with the rubber banding. There's a yeah. mechanic in that game with the drafting uh, where if you're drafting someone, you actually increase speed like exponentially uh, compared to what you would normally accelerate at. So if you're drafting someone, as long as you're within the drafting range, you can catch up really fast. Uh, that sucks if you're in first, um, but, uh, I don't know. It's, it hasn't bothered me too much, but I, after we talked about it last week, I went and played it and I realized what that, what they were talking about. And, uh, yeah. it's not rubber banding. Like the AI just randomly like appears in other places. 
uh, I figured out, like, I, when I did it myself, I was in last, and I caught up drafting all of the cars. <laughs> I actually sling, basically slingshot to first place with uh, a power play. Well, that's got to so, be fun, at least, though, when you slingshot up that fast, though. It was, actually, because I was in last. It was actually an elimination round where, like, mm-hmm. as the oh. counter, the, the, when the counter times down and the person in last place just gets eliminated from the entire race. Yeah. So I was in last place and it was counting down. I was like, shit, 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 shit. And I was like, <laughs> I was like drafting, drafting, and I did a power play. And right at, like, two seconds or, like, two, one, and I was like, whoosh, just barely made it past <laughs> the last person. I was like, yes. So it could be a valid. It can so it can be be an actual valid gameplay mechanic then. It is actually so it's like it's not like the AI just randomly places itself, teleports around and stuff. It's it's actually the drafting mechanic that people are talking about. So, just FYI. Was that in a uh, single player? That yeah, you that was in that? single player. That was in single player that I was messing around with the AI. And um, well, after we talked about that last week, I noticed a little bit more in Blur that the single player campaign is kind of equally shitty, just in a different way that it the ai is brutal in the in the normal yeah version. it's terrible so, yeah it's, it oh is. my god so it, i think it, it, i can't even imagine playing on hard oh my jesus <laughs> yeah so i think i think that the great thing about both those games and i may actually uh pick up split second when it drops in prices those games are great in multiplayer both of them yes yes they are it, if you're just buying buying them for single player you're probably not going to be that happy but they're both great in different ways for multiplayer yeah, they are. So anyway, oh, do you have Dean? Do you have a split second as well? I take it. Yeah, I actually grabbed it for the 360 and played a couple of races. I think uh, last weekend I had a pretty good time with it. Nice. Yeah, that's good. It was, it's a shame it, you're on 360, the, but no. Oh, well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, the elimination rounds that I played though, like what you're saying, where you you know kind of just draft and then slingshot your way up, those get pretty intense. Just the the fact that it's eliminating every, everybody behind you, and you have to. Uh, draft and explode your way up and I don't know it's, mm-hmm. it's pretty cool it's funny it looks awesome too I saw I saw a new power play uh, the other day where there it was I forget what map it is but the um, there's a, a cargo helicopter carrying like a, one of those gigantic like oversized construction dump trucks the one that's yeah. like a, the size of a city block you know, <laughs> you know, those <laughs> like the game is from, just ridiculous, uh, like from like from Mario, the movie <laughs> anyway. And uh, the the cargo, the helicopter literally slung it across the racetrack. And as it was rolling, it actually had explosive barrels in it. And it was like, of course rolling. it did. Why wouldn't? Yeah, it? <laughs> yeah exactly. Right. So, I got to go play uh, split second now. So no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Yeah, it, it was insane. And I was like, I did the power play and I was so busy looking at it that I wrecked myself. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was like, oh, my God, that is so badass. Boom. You wrecked yourself. And I'm like, oh, damn it. <laughs> it was it was sick. <laughs> I have no transitions. I'm, I'm transitionless tonight. I can't help it. I'm sorry. Too um, many big beers. <laughs> yeah. And the exploding construction heck? truck brings us to naturally. Who's next? Uh, <laughs> yeah, Dean, do you have anything else that maybe you haven't covered yet? Do you play anything? I've been playing what everybody else has been playing. I know I you've already covered quite a bit. I'd be surprised if you had some more. Other than that, I've been playing. I just played a little bit of uh, Prince of Persia: The Forgotten Sands, and um, oh, how that. is how is that? I want to hear about that. Uh, Prince of Persia, Forgotten Sands is Prince of Persia. Um, did you play the 2008 version of the game? Yes, I did. Okay, it's kind of like that, except Sands of Time. So if you if you played the old ones, it's uh, very much the art style like that one, and uh, it just the big puzzle rooms and things like that. Um, but kind of with the slick sort of platforming that was in the 2008 version of Prince of Persia. Um, oh, the vi- okay. yeah, the visuals are a little bit of a mixed bag on it, but uh, it controls really well. I only put about a, I don't know, about two and a half hours into it. Story sucks, but um, it's still you know got that nice puzzle platforming that you expect out of Prince of Persia. So I really enjoyed it, and I plan on playing more probably a little bit more this weekend. Yeah, I really want to check that out because um, <laughs> I've liked I've liked all of them so far, and I really enjoyed the the 2008, and I like the Prince the the original trilogy. Not the original, but the trilogy that came out in the last gen. Um, oh, yeah. So wait, what you're saying is uh, it doesn't. <laughs> what did you say? No, you don't. Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, I Why did. Do you I, lie? I played them. 
so I, I love the art style of the 2008 yeah. one. This one does not really carry up, uh, live up to that one. No, the art style is is totally like uh, just a next gen Sands of Time. Basically, character model is it's it's completely different. You're not the dude from the 2008 one. It's in a different timeline, as far as I'm concerned. I think I think it's like directly after Sands of Time. I'm not quite sure where it's it is. Been, is that where it is? Yeah, it's in the middle of that trilogy. I think it's between the Sands of Time and Warrior Within. Yeah, it's been it's been like years since I played Sands of Time, but yeah, the art style is is. Uh, is basically just an upgrade of of the old one and and just the same kind of puzzle mechanics where you you know push the switch make the gear go uh stuff like that it it controls a lot better from what i remember one of the best things that i like about it is when you're you know how you uh, you latch onto like pillars and stuff and then you have to shimmy your way around it and then jump to the next one yeah uh, they refined it so that you just push the stick in the general direction that you want to go, and without shimmying, the prince just jumps directly to the other pole. So it's kind of streamlined and made the gameplay a lot faster when you're doing that kind of stuff, and it's uh, it's it's actually really fun. It's, it's a lot nicer that way. So, no, I've, I've really been enjoying it, and if you're a fan of Prince of Persia stuff, then you should totally pick it up. It, it's more... Uh, it's not like the last one where it's one-on-one -on -one fights through the whole thing, right? It's more... <laughs> Dude, Open it's up. mobs and mobs of enemies. Like you, you go into a room, and then all of a sudden, you know, out of the sands come fifty skeletons, a, a bunch of dudes with shields, and you have a couple of different attacks that you can do. You can, you know, slice them with your blade, or you can, you know, just kick come them down with your dick. Yeah, you, you <laughs> just, just like wah, exactly. Yeah, kind of like that. No. Yeah. What was what was that? <laughs> yeah, yeah just your dick. It just uh, makes that slice. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> but yeah, you got a couple of different tags. You can just take down uh, the hordes of the enemies with, um, you know, just your, your dick, blade or yeah. whatever. With your dick. With your dick. You just wanted me to say dick, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, pretty I much. That's, that's, how we roll, that's how we run things around here. Okay. <laughs> you could have avoided a lot of issues oh, if you had just said dick it, no. right from the beginning. <laughs> Yeah if, you, yeah, if you had just said dick right in the beginning, you would have avoided a lot of stuff. We things that would happen after that. Like, okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't really care about that game you were talking about. Yeah, we would have just left you alone, actually. We'd just been like, okay, this guy's still talking. So basically, it's Prince of Persia. You whip your dick out, you get a lot of enemies down in the process, and it's fun. Yes! Oh, that's that's not a bad ass. should have been on the box. Yes, <laughs> that is awesome. Someone is the first. You know what? There's if PR is listening at Ubisoft. PR is gonna have like that quote and like slash multiplaying. Like that's gonna be <laughs> this, this podcast is brought to you by Ubisoft. <laughs> Your dick out. Uh, that's basically what I've what I've been playing. Just that and yeah, words with friends, getting my ass kicked in that game. Oh, you just beat me. Shut up. Yeah, you're beating me well, right now. I, uh, yeah, I'm beating you. Beating you. It's just it's gonna take another round or two before you catch up to me. You're better at me than that game, or you're better than me. Yeah, at that game. Uh, I haven't been playing jack shit, so I yes, will... you have. What I I played Blur with Yugu, and I played some Mass Effect One. Yeah, let's talk about that. A couple years ago, you should talk and <laughs> and then so I... how you doing in Mass Effect One? I'm still on the home planet. You're still in Mass Effect One. Yeah, I'm, I haven't uh, really... Not only is she in Mass Effect 1, she's still on Citadel. Yeah, I'm still oh. on Citadel. She's getting ready to leave, though. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah. She's about to be serious business. Yeah, it's about to get real. And, uh... Why don't you just skip to 2 already? Because I want to play it. <laughs> Can't you tell I really want to play it? I can tell, I can tell. And, uh, let's see. Um, Words with Friends, We Rule. And I don't... I'm starting to wonder if I might stop playing We Rule. Why? I'd stop. Uh, it's like I always have to like go in at certain times and harvest the crops and then I have to like make all this stuff. And it's a pain in the butt because I, I can't connect to the servers. And if I can connect to the servers, I get dropped or, you know, I get these these weird issues where then I can't connect to the server. And then I don't have time then to go back and try again. And then everything's rotted. Yeah, that is a pain in the ass. Yeah. And so I'm like, well, do I really want to keep doing this? It's more just like a chore. Rather than something fun to do, so I think I might drop We Rule. We um, Rule is more like a job. Yeah, it's um. Let me think. That's about it. It's about all I've been doing. I've been lazy with gaming. Massively multiplaying. Star Wars: The Old Republic, a new um, comic came out today. That's about all the big release this Friday. That's about all that was there. Well, and I imagine we have uh, some pretty big tour news coming up in the next couple of weeks yeah 
Yeah. Well, when's E3? We do? Like a week and a half, two weeks. Yeah, so it'll be... Did they Eddie. announce something? What? E3 is no, coming just, out in a week. And a half, so oh, sure oh I forgot about gonna, E3. Yeah, I'd be doing something. We'll demo something. Not and, huge, I mean, probably not huge news, but... Well, on G4, they're going to have like 30 minutes just on the Old Republic. Oh, gameplay, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, wow. So I'm sure we'll just get some gameplay, which I'll totally be pumped for. So that'll be exciting. And um, Lord of the Rings Online is going free to play this August. Yes. Yeah. John, I'm glad uh, you're here. Yeah. yeah How do you. you feel about that as a lifetime subscriber? <laughs> hey, I'm a lifer too. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Are? Yeah, okay. I'm I bought a lifetime. So how do you guys feel about that? I don't know. How long's the game been out? <laughs> Three years. There you go. It paid for itself. No, I'm I'm not <laughs> trying to rip on you. You you actually yeah, you did No, probably... I'm I'm legitimately interested in your yeah, how do you feel about this? I'm not like being a smart ass. I don't know, I don't play it anymore, so <laughs> that's cool. That actually doesn't really help your <laughs> your argument. So but... mean. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Hey. How do you feel about it as a lifetime subscriber? Uh, you know, I haven't I haven't played for a while. I okay. I logged it from time to time and just kind of casually played. But the the lifers are getting a free lifetime VIP subscription. So if you have a lifetime subscription, you're gonna you're gonna have that monthly subscription without needing to pay. You should have full access to all the content in the game um, without paying. So you're you basically are st- you still get your lifetime subscription. On top of that, you get the 500 points. Um, on a monthly basis, basically a stipend from Turbine to spend in the store. Um, so depending on what they have in the store and whether or not it's required to be used in order to progress in the game as a VIP member, um, yeah, I, yeah, I, I'm not quite sure how I, f- how I feel about it. It's, okay. I, I mean, if 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 you can get some good stuff out of the store to help uh, prevent some of the grindy stuff like the deeds and traits or you know, crafting or uh, legendary items. If you can get some stuff out of the store that'll actually reduce that grind, I'm all for it. The but, thing about uh, that makes me really excited is, I, I as someone who has enjoyed Lord of the Rings a lot and subscribed multiple times, like seeing people that I know who have played uh, Dungeons and Dragons online since they've gone to free and really, really enjoyed what they've done with the free to play model makes me very excited to go back and really enjoy this and maybe sink some money in different ways into it. Yeah. I'll, I'll be interested to see how they handle like gating the content and stuff. I'm it's, they said that you're going to be able to go up to level 50 as a free to play player. So my assumption would be that you can't progress beyond Moria um, or you can't even progress into Moria. Um, if you're a free player, which, so you can which only was do the that. first expansion, right? Yeah. Moria was the first expansion. So you're basically gated. If you're a free player, you can't go into Moria and then you can't go beyond Moria to Mirkwood and, and the new content that will eventually be coming out. I don't know if it's true or not too, but I saw on Twitter today that you can't do the monster play if you're a free Correct. player. Yeah. That's okay. right. So little bonuses for paying, but understandable. I'm very excited to see what they do with it. I kind of, you know what? I would actually reinstall it. It's not a bad <laughs> for free. <laughs> For like You'd reinstall month. it, but would you play it is the question. Uh, she never liked it, but no, yeah, I, I liked it. I, but see, yeah. that's saying a lot, though, since I never really cared for it. I would at least reinstall it to, like, if other people are playing it then, you know. Yeah. I, it's not ever been my thing. Well, it's some people's sleeping pill and it's some people's MMO, so. Yeah. <laughs> Do we want to cover anything about how, like, the community's all up in arms about how, you know, the community, Lord of the Rings, has always been so great, but this is going to trash it because free-to-play MMOs, or do we not want to cover that? Because it's, it's all speculation and negative, and we won't really know until it's out how it's going to respond. I mean, Lord of the Rings Online traditionally has a really amazing community. Yeah, yeah it's that's actually a hard thing to discuss. I mean, there's nothing we could say to those people who would tell them it's okay. No. Yeah. I mean, and yeah. they could, you know, it's predicting the future. They could be right. It could be... You know, horrible for the community. We don't know, but yeah. I don't want uh, them to come back and listen to this, and we're dumbasses. <laughs> <laughs> I I just hate to go to doom and gloom right away when Lord of the Rings has had you know for years a very strong. Yeah, when I went back for those free weekends and saw a recruiting fair, that was one of the things that made me come back and subscribe for like three that months. That was really they do really awesome and, things. Like yeah, that. yeah. And I bought uh, the expansion out of it. I mean, that was a huge thing. Yeah, you yeah. bought me stuff. I, yep. I don't even want it. <laughs> I mean, I think you'll definitely see some. I mean, just like the endless trial in Warhammer, just really wow. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah that's true. So, I'm I mean, sure no TVO see, saw that too. Yeah. Sure. I mean, you'll see some, but maybe it won't be all, you know, doom and gloom. I hope not. In the long maybe. run. In the long run, it makes that game last longer. Hot. So. Right. <laughs> Free trials. It's Viagra for MMOs. There you go. I would love to see Warhammer maybe do something like this. I don't know. Oh, right. wait. Just I saying? completely agree with that. No, I would love them to see a uh, free-to-play model. model. It's something like yep. this. I think that would be awesome. Yep. It couldn't hurt the community anymore, that's for sure. Yeah, you've already done that with the free-to-play, uh, the Tier 1 trial. Why not just open up to this? That'd be interesting uh, because they'd, prob- they'd probably... <laughs> How would they do that, though, with the free-to-play? You'd advance only pet to a certain know. level, right? Or you could only uh, do PvE. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> that's not going to get any money. That's a laugh. That'd be That'll awesome. Pull your teeth. No. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. The, when you're free to play, all you can do is play our terrible PvE. Go. <laughs> good idea. Good idea. The new city sieges, maybe you, could, uh, you couldn't take part in that, but you could take part in open PvP. I don't know. Yeah, that's probably more realistic. But you, you could do like the open RBR, but not any of the instances. There you go. Scenarios and or yeah, yeah, no yeah. scenarios or or only scenarios or. or I yeah, know. I think I think you probably get better reaction of that. You do just scenarios, not open PPP, and you get people hooked on those scenarios, which happened a lot. That was yeah. a lot of uh, people's favorite parts of it, and then it help the scenario popping problems. Yeah, yeah, ex- yeah exactly. <laughs> those those scenarios would be popping like crazy. They really need to do some cross server. Done. Thank you. You're welcome, Mythic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hope you're listening. Uh, we just made that happen. <laughs> that Poor guys. You should have done DAOC two. It would have taken off. But don't yes. you think? I mean, if, they, if war, even with the, all the problems they got, if they would just go ahead and do a third faction. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. know. You're, you're. You'd be there immediately. I know. But, but no, and that's, so many. That's... I think it would get, uh, get a lot of attention too, and get a lot of people. I mean, it would, you know, really stir things up in the community. And it, I don't know. Like, would it be like, uh, you know, when Star Wars Galaxies did their reboot and it destroyed their loyal fan base? But they rebooted stupidly. Yeah. Three, they, yeah they, adding they, a third they, side they, is what everyone has always wanted. They no, that's what you've wrong... always wanted. You, no, the everyone else. Well, I, I think they, all the, the DAOC players definitely All the want. DAOC players, all, yeah, 45 who, of who are, No, that's a, big, <laughs> that's a big number of people in Warhammer. It was. Yeah, it, it was. was. It was. I, th- I think that at their peak now, at their peak, they had more people than... Warhammer ad after the bubble burst. Yeah, and I, I think just doing that would bring a lot of people back, and then then maybe they could fix. I mean, there's still bugs in this game that have well, been there since tonight. I was playing with a trying to get a friend that um, from AIM actually to play, and um, a run round. I had done the little special while she was AFK, which on Empire is that stupid puppet. Well, the puppet never went away, so I'm run around <laughs> killing people with my puppet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there are still so many little bugs in this game that you know that death bug that was there in beta where somebody would die and then it looks like their corpse is running around i mean yeah. there's still so many uh, bugs in this game that what's I, it that I, I always know? liked that one when i was chaos because it's very fitting <laughs> well, not when you're trying to find them to heal them is not oh and that's the other thing like you'll be in a war band and all of a sudden and they're all literally right there in front of you and all of a sudden all your bars go distant oh like, yeah yeah oh, that, was hey. that, that is very frustrating yeah. yes you know, or, still, or your, that bug's still there that bug is still there or your map goes blank you know it's Mats, like, yep, yep. It's like how can you not have fixed this by now yeah. and i remember so. going up to launch or right after launch there were so many people who were interested in the ip who had not played war uh doc yeah. so yeah. you would have had those people who would have been exposed to something with three sides bugs and all you know imperfections and all that that would have helped that game so much in the beginning that yeah. you would have had those people hooked yeah absolutely so i mean if they don't do something i mean the city sieges was a, a big start for them but if they don't continue to do that i mean the servers it's down to four and by all you know know, most people tell you it probably should be down to two um, because you know volkmar i think is supposedly pretty dead and iron rock is pretty dead Um, not dead dead but i mean it's just not as active as say gorfang and badlands and how many was there oh my goodness yeah, oh my there God! 
Well, they 20. had too many to start with. There was, wasn't there like 23, 20, I, don't there know, were, 20. I think there was more than that. There was like probably 40 some. I don't know. Yeah, there, there was that? like, there was like 40 at launch because they were, uh, they were like over anticipating how many people would. Yeah. And didn't they add some after launch too? Yeah. They did. They yeah. Did. Yeah. So it's, it's and then, then, then they were stubborn in combining them and they were like waited yeah. too long to do that. And yeah. I, I never liked my first transfer. That stuff was a nightmare. It just was not, I mean, like guild got splintered and I mean, what you guys went through was just freaking terrible um that's depressing and we'll be awesome. <laughs> yeah and and yeah city, no i know i'll keep I think that the positive is the, well, city the thing is that we still it. we still care you know well, and, yeah i hope they fix it i mean i hope that they can do something to breathe life back into it and fix i love that game and from Some what we heard and what heather was saying the city thing is a good step they yeah. to keep going yeah. and you know what i wish they would do i wish one of the things that i don't like say i'm on gorfang now in order and um, I can't participate at the lower levels in city sieges. I wish that if there was a city siege, it would spawn events in the, the lower levels, like in the open RVR area, it would spawn some kind of event. Um, and that if your side, if your side won, it would give like um, a boon to the city or something like a healing boon or, or you know, something um, meaningful. It, it would be nice to be able to participate more than just victory points, which is still so complicated. I can't for the life of me I don't think out. anyone knows what's going on with victory points. <laughs> I think it's all random. Like, there's literally a guy who flips a coin, and they're just like, okay, they get it. Time to flip the zone. I think I figured it out the last time I played. It's, it is, it is, it's way more complex than it needs to be, but yeah, it's not random. Okay. Bring us down with your lemon drop facts. Yeah. Yeah. You the guy that knows stuff. Have you listened to our podcast? <laughs> oh man! Yeah. Um, Put you in your facts. Throw out some stupid <laughs> shit. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, did you see the way that bright next. wizard looked? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I will say this: you can make a hot zealot now. Shut uh, up. Do they hunch their shoulders? Did they? Fix you can them? make. Uh, well, no, no, no. They're still. They'll still. Um, no, unless you, you know, sheathe your uh, weapons. But yeah, like she actually... did uh, at level forty or up to level like whatever. I yeah, I don't. She never equipped the shoulder piece. <laughs> so she walked. Got <laughs> I never over. No, my the dagger. Head. It was the dagger. Yeah, yeah, your dagger is if you have your weapon. But right. no, you can actually. They actually have pretty faces for. Um, so they've added faces in here. Options? They did. They did. They snuck that in on the last patch, and um, <gasps> you can make a cute bright wizard now. See, I'm all about the cuteness. Um, yeah. I can. can I can already it. hear Zelly downloading Warhammer. Shut up. Shut up. Be quiet. Actually, in. I actually made some and took some screenshots. I'll have to post them. Yeah, you do. Because I was like, oh, you can actually make a cute zealot now instead of it looking all. Because <laughs> my big, one of my complaints was like it pissed me off. Like, I could make three or four different witch elves that I actually liked all three or four of them, but I could never make a sorceress that I liked because those hair and face options weren't available on the sorceress. They were only available on the witch elf. Right. And it's like, and it, why? They're the well, same race. <laughs> <laughs> they added faces to Empire, um, both the elves and then chaos, but they, they left um, green skins and dwarves, um, dwarves alone. And it's kind of funny on the, the male side, it's, they're all like Asian looking. I mean, it's, it's like the, on the female side, they don't have that Asian flair to them per se, but on the male side, they all kind of look Asian. And I thought that was interesting. I'm not sure hmm. what the deal is there, but yeah, they did. They snuck that in last time. So you can, you can, well, I, wanna, I want to go to there. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still subscribed, Shannon? Uh, yeah, I am. Like yes, I said, I am, sir. logging in now. <laughs> I am. Actually, it's, yeah, it's Touching. actually on my computer, too. So, but anyway. Um, while we were talking about what you're playing, I didn't hear any of you talk about Star Trek Online. Yeah. I've been I have playing it in some. My list, but I, I play it every day. I, I don't need to talk about that still. I think like Paz said, John said, uh, that's the MMO that you don't play every single day, but you play occasionally. And that's how I've been playing it. And I've been still really enjoying it. And they just had patch one, season 1.2 come out, I think, or yesterday. Season the day before. 2.1 or something like that. Yeah, whatever. Whatever, the new, the new patch. <laughs> They've added a squad system. It's kind of like sidekicks, but it allows like high level players. Uh, Just, it allows yeah. high level players lower their level as well as low level players to raise theirs. Right. It's yeah, pretty much the all, same system they had in City of Heroes. Where okay. It also like, allows people high. Shut level up! Players. Let him explain what I was. Sorry. Just, 
Shut up. What, what does it do, John? It also levels. No, John. Uh, it also. John. He's going to mess Shut it up. up. Go ahead. You're going to mess it up. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens is, um, let's say you had a team of, like in City Heroes, you had a team of eight people. Each w- each person on that team could take one sidekick or whatever you want to call it, squad mate. And if it was if they were all higher levels taking low levels, each high level person would take one low level person as their sidekick, or vice versa. If you're doing from high to low or whatever, so it allows people of any level to play together at any time. Um, which you can do technically already in Star Trek Online, except for the whole dying instantly thing. Like, your weapon damage scales really well. Like, you could be level 10 and go on a level 50 mission and still do the same damage that you would do and still feel like doing some DPS. But if they look at you funny, <laughs> you're going to die. <laughs> if they're going to be like, hey, what's over? Oh, never mind. He already exploded. Gotcha. <laughs> you know, so now you won't explode instantly. It'll be like, you know, you're on the same playing field. Is the system active in PvP too? I do not know, but uh, Cryptic in general with their PvP systems, they've made it so that when you go into a zone, it it equalizes the levels across the board anyway. I don't know if that's true in Star Trek Online now that they've added the squad system. Like if you were uh, level 50 in City Hero City Villains and you went to a level 20 area, it doesn't matter what level you were, it took away all of the abilities over the level cap and took away all of the enhancements over the level cap and it just equalized you to the cap. So... Yeah, that's the way they did all the PvP and PvE and everything like that in, in the previous games. So I imagine that if it's not in there yet, it'll be in there soon for Star Trek Online as well. So like, if you had all the high-level crap, and even though you have you know the high-level ship and stuff, maybe it'll equalize all of your DPS to be the same as someone else of the same level or lower level. Or maybe it'll disable one of your cannons, or I don't know. I don't know. I haven't uh, hopped in yet since you the don't patch. Know. I haven't had time. You, you don't know. So as far as that goes, as far as the Star Trek <laughs> my level equalizing system. Uh, you said a lot of talking for to end it with that, but I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, this is all just random speculation. I, I would have done better. <laughs> there. Yeah, a little bit. Paz's promises. Paz's promises. What were you going to say, Jason? All you right. can you can record both and then choose which one you want to use. You, you, <laughs> you ruined it. I want to say. All right. No, go ahead, Jason. Go ahead. No, you ruined it. No, you summarized the big thing that I was saying that I really liked out of the notes was you could uh, kick down and level. So if you're like level forty or whatever, and you're playing with someone who's twenty. It'll bring you down, which I yeah, think is go, really, really cool. Yeah, you can go down to their level instead and do their missions for them and help them do their shit. And actually, um, I don't, I'm not sure if they have the same currency, quote unquote. Where in uh, City Heroes they had like super group or guild like points, where that you could spend on your bases and stuff like that. Um, when you were reversed sidekicked, like if you were high level going down to low level, you earned like extra guild points as you were killing things and leveling and stuff, leveling your friends. So I don't know if there's something like that yet, but I uh, got to mess around with it more, see what the deal is. Yeah, there's no way to know. We just got to figure this out. We just got to gotta jump in there and just yeah. gotta go with it. We'll maybe give you a report next week, but probably not. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, not next week, because next week is just the live show, not the recorded show. Yeah, so we're not going to? So yes, yeah, so we're not going to. Or if we do, uh, or if, if few, we have you might a not live know show, because live... I will write you a letter if you really care, and I will tell you... <laughs> I will send it through the mail U- USPS, yeah. United States Postal Service. Yes, he just doesn't shut up. <laughs> you send me this your like, address, I will mail you a letter. Oh my god. This is like me last time. This yes. is awesome. Yes. <laughs> it's He's not me this time. Out. Yes. He's passing out on me. Oh, damn it. They named oh, it after no. me. <laughs> As a loser. <laughs> Show. Oh my god. I remember that. That was hilarious. That's one of the best times I went to log into war and I saw one of my why is one of my characters name as a loser? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hey Pat. Dean, you know how you know how when you're at a party with friends and you are like Falsely you first. never you never fall asleep first. You never leave first, you never fall asleep first. Never, ever. We, Always wait until someone else leaves first or falls asleep first and then go. We were well, having a bit of drunken gaming one night. Oh, oh during yes. our um Podcast days, yeah. And I, I had a bit of wife aggro or something. I don't remember what. And I left. <laughs> and uh, and uh, go ahead, Shannon. Why don't you explain? Uh, what there was about six of us, and we all created Pez um, characters. This was variations. You said this actually on podcast too, right? Yeah, we did it on podcast where, and we had the. Oh, God, I should dig that out. The but screenshots. Um, screenshots. There's funny. Pez a loser and. <laughs> 
Taz is gay. <laughs> no, it wasn't. I don't remember. They were, we came up with so many, though. There was like four of us standing there, all of us Paz and loser people. And um, oh, no. that was awesome. Yeah, I so think I, I fell asleep I think I first. I remember that. Yeah, I fell asleep first at the party. And, uh, we publicly humiliated you. That's, that's what happened. That's what happened. <laughs> and on the next podcast, they were uh, they were. They were, we were pretty, rather proud, uh, of proud of ourselves. Yeah. They, they were pretty proud about it. And they were like, so, uh, you know what? I'm still proud of it. <laughs> you should be proud of that. <laughs> they were like, so, uh, so Pez, you seen any uh, new screenshots lately? <laughs> we had it on the homepage of the guild. Of oh, it looked everything. great. They had a whole login screen that all of them were together, and they looked like they were like what you would see when you log into your own game. <laughs> like you're some Pez guy who just has terribly named characters. Oh. Yeah, it was uh, it's quite good. It's quite good times. Uh, you can join our Steam group at steamcommunity.com slash group slash multiplaying net. Our site of the week this week is Grimnar's Grudge. If you go to G-R-I-M-N-I-R dot M-M-O fansites.com, that's Grimnar's Grudge. And it's a really good blog. Looking at the uh, the PVE on Xbox Live Arcade. With the Plants vs. Zombies. You know no, that. No, 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 wait. You can't jump. We didn't announce it yet. I can't oh. edit like that. Hold on. Just hold on a second. Oh, sorry. Okay. Sorry. All right. This is some other nerd news. <laughs> okay, nerd news. Let's go. Right. Hey, nerd news. What, what's, what's new in the nerd news there? Yeah, you tell us, Paz. Nerd what's news. Go. I don't know. God. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you do. <laughs> God. What All right, that? fine. That fine, I'll tell you. you. So much. <laughs> PVE on Xbox Live Arcade. PV- Plants vs. Zombies. Yeah, that'd be PVZ. Yes. PVZ Plants vs. Plans- Zombies. Never played it, but Shut it's up. on Xbox Live Arcade. No, seriously, never played it. And uh, did you know, like, I was there. I was picking something else. I was picking up Mod Nation Racers at, X- at GameStop, and they are going to release that as, like, a special limited edition collector something, like, Plants vs. Zombies. It's, like, 60 bucks. I was like, isn't that shit, like, $5 on Steam? <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> no, it's like uh, I think it's twenty it's bucks. Like twenty on Steam. for the PC, but you can get it. Isn't it only five bucks for um the f- iPhone one? Yeah, it's five yeah. or three bucks, something but like it's, that. It's I was like I was like yeah, I was like you're seriously trying to sell me that. I was like Plants for Zombies. It's it's cost five dollars. Really? How would that even work on Xbox with a controller? I mean, that stuff's either touch controlled or mouse controlled. Wouldn't that I be know. Like, I don't know. Some? Yeah, I, I don't know. Think they so. they made they made uh, Peggle work on it, so I don't That's know. True. Popcap will put their shit on everything. I mean, they. <laughs> They make great games, but <laughs> it shouldn't surprise anybody to. They are whoring that. that shit out. Yeah, they, they, they mean, install it on your toilet if they could. Yeah, like I get I get my paper in the morning, and they got it on there somehow. Yeah, uh. yeah, it's it's every every uh, every morning on the paper is a new yeah. slide. I tell them where I'm going to put my my plant, and then they uh, send me the next paper, and it's there. <laughs> yeah, there you go, there you go, and then the next paper, you're like, oh shit, that thing's coming up. I better put a pl- better put a plant down. All right, something's shit. gonna happen. Oh shit, I'm gonna move on to listener feedback. Listener feedback. Listener feedback. Crazy. iTunes <laughs> got a five. No, uh, we didn't get anything on iTunes. I don't know why that five's there. Oh, oh. Send in iTunes reviews. I yeah, did. Yeah, see, it. see, Gene <laughs> is our it last took- <laughs> iTunes review, and now he's on the show. We will hunt you down. If you want to be on the show, <laughs> go put a review, and we will have you on the show. Uh, that's basically, that's basically it. That's all you gotta do. You just gotta Bye. write a review, and then we'll 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 find you. Like, hey, oh. he's so material. He likes us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that's the requirement for being on the show. If you like listening, we're pretty much just gonna have you on. That's that's pretty much so trashy and you. You know, I don't know. I don't. I don't want to promote that. We'll have like a bunch of jobbers on the show, <laughs> like worse than us, and then it'll be a mess. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. More so than with me. Oh, I know on. it's hard to believe. <laughs> Are you sure about this? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know anything anymore. Uh, we did okay. get some email. Um, I don't know if I'm saying this right because this is cut and pasted in here from Steve, who's not here now, to correct me. So uh, he may have typoed some of this, but um, he's pretty dumb. Well, no, he's. <laughs> I, I just leave that just, in. Leave that in. <laughs> <laughs> that's gold. Well, the email it just says Gills Tompkins. I'm assuming that's who it's from, and they're asking, "What is your favorite setting in a game?" Max. Oh. What? That's a good question. What? No, that, haha. Max was 4X AA. Yeah, there you go. Oh. You mean like easy, <laughs> medium, or? No, like, I. Uh, I'm talking setting? about graphic settings. <laughs> I don't like know. Sci fi or fantasy about. or western or, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Dean, oh. Dean has not, a brain. Not, not graphic settings. I want to do this podcast just with you. <laughs> oh. 
I've only had. I've, I'm, I'm only I'm talking about. Two, so I'm talking about graphics. Jason's talking about difficulty. <laughs> Dean's like hardcore. <laughs> Woo! Hardcore. Maybe he meant that. I guess it could be possible. Triple X. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we should just pant. answer that in all of our own opinion of what setting means. Yeah. So. Okay. There you go. There you go. Is Maeve still here? I'm here. <laughs> Maeve, are you alive? alive. What's your favorite uh, porno <laughs> settings for a video game? Go. <laughs> Prince of Persia. Porno oh dear. Settings for a video game. Yep. Frankly. I can't hear you. You got to talk into the mic. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, I had it up for a drink. <laughs> Oh my god, you have the logins of the joining the guild. I do. Paz yeah. a fart hard, Paz a loser. Paz Paz a a... Hard, oh, dude, that's awesome. Uh, oh, Paz loves Ab. Paz a shit. Yeah. Oh, Paz a shit stain. <laughs> that's the one I make. Paz a shit stain, I remember this. <laughs> oh Paz my god. Bravo. Bravo, <laughs> oh man, that's why we keep you around because you oh, have thoughts. <laughs> I remember logging in and seeing Pav- Paz loves app. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> were, were you momentarily worried? Like, were you like momentarily worried that I hacked your account? Yes, I, I remember seeing that. I'm like, yes, because it was on my account. I think that Shannon made it. I went to bed. Yeah, and, and I was like, oh god, <laughs> John got it in my account. <laughs> <laughs> I hacked by Paz. <laughs> Oh, is that the new Faces and Bodies Mave? Yes, it is. Damn, those All look right. pretty nice. Those look pretty nice? <laughs> what are you looking at? Ah, <laughs> Some tickle bits. <laughs> Woo! No. So, so what about that listener feedback, Shannon? <laughs> What's your favorite? Um, Boobies, Dean's looking at boobies. Yeah. Sark says to all my sexy multiplaying co-hosts and paths, if a dude has... One hour of game time a day, as the military guy did last week. Do not suggest League of Legends. He can only play one game for the day, and if he loses, that loss will probably make him want to punch his platoon mates in the face. I with, agree. With ELO, ELO, the idea is that you play people of equal skill and only win 50% of the time. 3.5 days of the week spent punching babies is bad. I recommend something more satisfying like Torchlight. Raim is changing his pants daily because of it. Cheers, Sark O. Lagor. I agree. I, like I think Torchlight, yeah, it was probably a better call there. League of Legends, I really like, but those games are long. Well, that and it's all win or all lose. If that's if you're only yeah, you're, it's one. all PvP. There's no PVE. Yeah, so I, I would say Torchlight is probably a better call then. Yeah, apparently John doesn't want to respond, but yeah, John's not tall. <laughs> John's a douche. He knows he knows he's an idiot now that he recommended that, so he's kind of retreating. So yeah, yeah. play yeah. Uh, Torchlight. But what and about uh, all what about, past horrible names? What about Gil's question? The favorite setting, though. Did we already answer that with all the? I games? think we covered that by, uh, by rambling okay. off into nothing. Yeah. Porn is our favorite setting. Okay. Yes. Porn. We like porn. porn. Yeah. <laughs> porn. Set it to porn and just just go with it. Yeah, just hate cruise control. <laughs> Just put down the controller, you know? <laughs> Done. Oh, man. Uh, you're going to be busy. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> We're oh. still doing the bumper contest. We did get a couple of really great entries, but we want to, like, you know, have a nice, friendly mix of competition. So we're going to keep it going. Um, and you win a, either a copy, a Steam copy of Star Trek Online, or if you already own um, Star Trek Online, you will win something of equal value on Steam. Uh, and we're just going to draw the names. So we're going to, you know, whoever submitted them, you get a submission for each for each bumper you submit. That's the number I, of times I write your name into the little hat. And so into the hopper. Well, it's a hat, actually. No, it's your it's your baseball. Oh, uh, we don't have a hopper. I'm using your hat. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Shit. I'd be like that uh, lottery guy. So if just... someone, yeah, submits four bumpers, then they get their name put in the hat four times, so you increase your chances to be drawn. So, but they have to be kind of good. Don't don't send in seventy five bumpers. <laughs> not really worth... variations of Christopher Walken impersonations. <laughs> <laughs> Those are pretty good though. But yeah. only send in like forty eight, and then do other impersonations. <laughs> Yeah. Now the first forty-eight can be Christopher Walken, but the rest of the seventy-five have to be someone else, uh, or else you'll be disqualified. We're serious. Yeah, this is this is serious business. This this stuff. This is a serious podcast. <laughs> 
Yeah, can't you tell? Yeah, we're all about we're all about real life and facts, and uh, you know, we'll we, count you know, those. I'm I'm you know. calling it. Show's over, people. Well, gentlemen, <laughs> no point in hanging around this dump any longer. Wait, Wait where are you going? I was gonna make a spread. Show's over, folks. You can't go. All the plants are gonna die. Take off, eh? Thanks for listening to Multiplying, the companion podcast at Multiplying.net. Questions, comments, feedback, errors, etc. can be sent to Multiplying at gmail.com. We invite you to write a review on iTunes and visit our website at www.multiplying.net. We've made a lot of friends, shared a lot of laughs, often at the expense of others. I think some people are going to be upset. Let me just close this conversation by saying you are one unique individual. Thank you and good night. Dead Workers Party Network. We're bringing Smexy back.